music you guys do know? Uh, the mosaic because I did this while uh, earlier today. Oh, the star is already evolving. This is exactly why I uh, did a female, because that way I could breed it. That's why I need to do it. Do it all. <laughs> Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you could shine as bright as anyone. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't even think about breeding. I thought I thought it was gonna be easy just getting these Pokemon. <laughs> Seriously, what's with you? Don't you wanna burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Ben, are you doing the story? I just went up the stairs and I started a cutscene, yeah. <laughs> we got quota, we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Oh my god, this place is so huge. I don't know. Should I explore or should I just continue with the story? You want in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? No. Ah, another ignorant little nobody. Here, I'm finally part of the Team Star, and I still get no respect. I got with my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we got no choice but to battle, yeah? That's true, you keep watching that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. Challenged huh. oh by God. Team Star Grunt, who sent out a shrewdle. This place is so huge, I don't know where to go. Look at the look at your mark. Just open up your map at the right ADO and mark. And just mark, mark where the school icon is, where the story icon is. I guess I'll swap in my flying type, because that looks like a bug and grass type. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to everyone just to make sure, like, they don't give you anything. Because I know some Pokemon games did that with... Let's yeah, say it's like, normal poison stuff. type, Mr. Ben. Oh, it's normal poison, okay. Oh, because of that, uh, uh, that, uh, Garai-Eye, um, pre-evolution. Yes, the technical machine, Bullet Seed. I ran into it to a level 25, uh, higher, higher Yarma, but he, he uh, before I could get him, he pulled off, he pulled off a whirlwind. That would have been a huge boost of experience to all my Pokemon. That's a grunt down. How come I'm the one seeing stars? I don't want to do that. Ah, darn it. Why is it nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. How do I call upon the taxi again? <laughs> I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up Steam Stars ranks. <laughs> Parabueno, what do you think you're doing? Yeah, I'll just continue with the story then, since I guess Ben's doing that. Uh, is that student cancel dweeb! He's gonna report us if we don't book it! Can't believe you, Mr. Ben. You don't have to go find randos to battle, you'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me! <laughs> wow! That is some... <laughs> that is some big Sundari energy right there. <laughs> it's those Team Star Punks. Wait, they picked a fight with you?! Wow, I wear that way wrong. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over for you for sure. I bet you were trying to pressure people to signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi, yeah, yeah, we weren't doing that, they said. Liars. Huh. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of bullshit would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try out my amazing and ultra-rare gift to you. Oh cool, I got a terror orb. I can terrestrialize now! An orb that Where are you, Spawning? 
Yeah. They said on this map I could find you here, but you're not here. With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Magikarp will be a water type, even though it already is. Normally, you gotta take special classes to be able to get one of those Terra Orbs, but I've learned a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explain it to you. You want this kid to practice wailing on us with his Terra Pokemon? <laughs> you have a problem, you wanna battle me instead? I'll take my chances with the new kid. Take your places and let's get ready to rumble! J.E., uh, what's the button command for a, uh, uh, the taxi again? What, your ride? You should just be able to pull up on your map and, uh, go to wherever you see, like, a, uh, like a feather wing or something. Oh, I just have to press and uh, find you and then select you. Yeah, because if you see me on the map, you can all like, you can pull, you can pull, because I opened a Pokemon Center. If there's a Pokemon Center close by to where I am, you should be able to fly anywhere I've been to already. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna swap in. Oh! I am not even gonna try bothering with that. Well, what did you find, Ben? Uh, I swapped out my Ralt so I could terrestrialize it, and it walked right into a, a tackle that, like, reduced it down to 1 HP already. Oh, God. So what, level your, what level is your Ralt? Level 7. Mine, mine was level 12 when I entered uh, into that battle. Yeah, I, I haven't gone there yet, but I got my duck at level 13. Oh, I can't even... I can't terrestrialize... What? I can't terrestrialize my... 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 You know what? Fuck it. I don't... Oh, never mind. I can terrestrialize it now. Are you fighting Team Star, Ben? Yes. Yeah, I'm at that part, too. I'm terrestrializing my... My uh, my bird and do okay, a normal type. Okay, it's not giving me the taxi icon when I pull out my yeah. map. Wait, how do you terrestrialize? Uh, when you uh go to attack, it'll give you the option to uh hit R button and. Uh, oh, okay. Yep, I see. Yeah, take a bit. Oh, fly here. Okay, that's why I wasn't able to get to you, J.E. I didn't go to the Pokemon Center yet. And your Pokemon burns so bright. Oh, you're over there. I'm over here. We're on the opposite ends of the gorge. <laughs> you pulled off terrestrializing with no problem. Moves your Repokes to Terra type will even hit harder when it's terrestrialized, you know. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up strategic <laughs> options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. Huh. Huh. I'll be on my very way then, yeah! Hasta la vista! <laughs> Hasta la vista! <laughs> she says with a star running off. So, yeah, Team Star is basically a bunch of nobodies that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real Hopefully they ass. live off. Uh... Hopefully they're more of a challenge than Team Yell were. Yeah. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them from what I hear. Uh, excuse me. What do you mean you don't know what to do with them? Just kick their asses and make them go back to school. Uh. And she says, thanks, see you around, and runs off up the stairs. Huh. Well, you, Mr. Ben, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you are. That Eevee bag, though, love that fluff. Anyway, it seems like trouble's died down, so we better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst Boy. staircase in the world. Actually, Ben, I think I might be seeing you soon, because I just finished out of the cutscene. 
Yep, there you are. You're right there. Alright, there you are. <laughs> right. oh, Let's man. go to school, Ben. <laughs> yep. Uva Academy, Mezagoza. Uh, it's point for me now, it's, and it's special attack may be pretty OP. I just right right into you, Ben. Yep. <laughs> uh oh. Spoiled Here pearl. Here we are, Mr. Ben. Welcome to Uva Academy. This here's the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off to the sides will lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they battled Pokemon battling. They banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> How'd you find your first school commute? We had a blast. I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. I don't know how to look after my friends, isn't that right, Mr. Ben? Speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star bullies in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were harassing this kid with an Eevee backpack. <laughs> well, that's quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Mr. Ben flexed on him and ran him right off. Huh, you don't say. Well, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's a fine thing to try to help out a fellow student. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any such trouble. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, Mr. Director, sir. Uh, a child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm really she's the here she's come to class, at least. Uh, and Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jock about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept appraised of all such goings on. Oh, okay, there we go. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry on. Class will be starting soon. Now, we're in class 1A. Come on, I'll show you the way. Oh my god, the frame rate is kind of a little bit bad. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Jack. Yeah, this is this is worse than Sword and Shield will be released soon. Yes, yeah, some exciting It's like a frame rate thing for you guys with your world of the students are all weird. Yeah, that that's the whole thing we were talking yeah. about. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom hazard today. Huh. Whisper, whisper, mumbo, mumbo. Wonder what they'll be like. Come on in. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? <laughs> Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Mr. Ben. Alright then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? <laughs> me, me, can I ask a question? Well, technically, you already just did, but, you know. What's my favorite yes, thing? Yes, the only kid to the right. <laughs> What's my favorite thing about Pokemon? Everything! <laughs> <laughs> really? Awesome, I'm totally the same. Anyone else have a question? I ah. just said collecting Pokemon. <laughs> you went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Mr. Ben. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of a dream, right? I don't actually know. Fair, I get it. Possibilities are endless, right? Who can decide? Thank you for telling us a bit about yourself. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology and at the academy. I'm also your homeroom teacher. <laughs> That's a seat. That's your seat. Take a row from the front. Oh, oh sit down! Now I got classes available. <laughs> Alright, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to your new classmate. <laughs> we will, Mr. Jacques. They lied. <laughs> Oh, all. You guys have to be my, 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 my. All right, uh, so I get to explore around a little bit on my own, I guess. All right. 
I don't even yeah. see you, Ben. Say, try checking out places on the map where you might see someone might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Okay. Ooh, I found a great ball. What's so great about the great ball? <laughs> Always gotta keep the running gag going. Oh. Uh cafeteria or staff room. Oh hey, it's that jerk from before. Oh hey, so we meet again. You remember me right? No. <laughs> from the lighthouse, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's my know-it-all little buddy. Got a mind of a steel trap, eh? Where'd you go, Ben? Did you go? I to went cafeteria to the cafeteria. Right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that's say. the first place I went to as well. Yeah. Old school seems to be talking about you, man. News travels fast. <laughs> huh. New kid who showed up with the president of the student council. <laughs> oh my oh. god, the sandwiches look so good. <laughs> yeah, we're going with that scope already. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Well, I don't have that dude. <laughs> What's this dream first? Eh, got your interest, have I? You want to hear all about my dream, right? Huh, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors, perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help make a Pokemon feel better. Real health food, you see. Found out this book that the other day. Oh, you're bra. Yeah, I had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. There are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging. If even you invest the in one, you'll be able to take on a raid, uh, Terra Raid battle and defeat a powerful Terra Pokemon. Oh, I found it. This is Sally's Terra Crystal. You'll take yeah. a well of feed. And it looks says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning it's going to be pretty tough to try and even grab a few sprigs. Uh, hmm. BM, are you on me because I'm your crystal, but I don't know, know if you, got, you guys have to be by the same oh. crystal and you'll the same way. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were even Pokemon I'm gonna at all. I'm going to because I got a Water Pulse. Oh, one of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded! Oh, damn! Okay. Yeah. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed the passing resemblance to the Pokemon Dawn fan, yet the difference such as its texture and the way it moves suggests it's biologically separate, to say nothing of its treads of iron. Okay, where are you, Sally? Oh, uh, there you are. I not really want Legends. To get... <laughs> okay, so you're not putting up the raid battle yet because uh, everyone's doing the story. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I found your uh, I found your crystal, Sally. Yeah. You see, you see me. I'm fighting a Stanler. No, I see you on the map, and you're nowhere near this crystal. Is there anyone else I need to talk to in the cafeteria, or can I talk to someone else? Oh, you gave me a bag of stardust. Cool, selling fodder. He's not such a bad guy after all. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like I get to see you in the school, but... Yeah. I'm getting a phone call. This is Mr. Ben, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> what do you mean, hacked? Yeah. <laughs> Well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. Do do do. My name is Cassiope. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. Wow, in that... a school that actually lets you keep your phone. Yeah. If that description is accurate, <laughs> there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me! You know about Team Star, right? Uh, considering that Cassiope is also a constellation, if I'm not mistaken. 
I Great. tried to say no, and he just calls your bluff. Yeah. Great. I appreciate you bringing up Frontier. Team Star is a group of troublemakers found by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Scar Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Ah, eh, sure, why not? But no need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Until then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. <laughs> okay. That was the thing. All right, let's now go to the staff room, I guess. <laughs> Please do try to make your keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. <laughs> Honestly, there's so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. Off you go, Flash then. Flash fire. Cinder cadets. Oh, this is what you were talking about, Jay. <laughs> Team Star, you say? I love how, like, Professor Clavel just has, like, just a bunch of Premier Balls around his belt. Like, it's not even on his belt, they're, like, just attached directly to his jacket. Yeah. Ah, uh, J.E. just going nuts, catching everything left, right, and center. I know, so I, keep, I. I keep seeing you guys pop, your names popping up while we're <laughs> still at the school. Well, I think maybe it's a little bit. Charge was hot. What? You're in the cards. Maybe that doesn't fit in the face of parts. It's like that. There's not. Because I think there's a gap between when I cash out the Pokemon, so maybe it's getting all the notifications of the ones. Hey, pardon me. Hey, Mr. Ben. Hey, Mr. Ben. <laughs> Who was the lady with the crazy oh. hair? <laughs> Piqued your interest. That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can pretty much do anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. Basically, everything I want to be, or any Pokemon trainer would want to be. Oh, my goodness. That's... Yeah, keep going, man. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's a lot that opens up here. Yeah. Well, which reminds me, remember at home when I asked what your dream is? You're still trying to decide what it is you're looking for. I have an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. I don't know. Oh, but talent of yours is like deserves to be used. Hear me out. Trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon to be really strong. Pro tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. Do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You gotta take on the eight Pokemon gems and win so you can quit their gym badges. Once you've done all of that, all that's left is a special test, the uh, champion assessment. That's different. Once you pass that, then at long lasts you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. Hey, I'll take that over the goddamn tower and brilliant diamond. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, but the treasure hunt's a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this year. It's great! You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. Guess you could say that my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found, maybe. I don't know if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to even get strong get even stronger if you I'll and I were both working at LP. It. Awesome. I keep finding your crystals, J.E., and you're getting, it's giving me LP. And okay. she gives me the location of all the gems on my map app. So... Alright, I'm at the head office. Is this the last spot, then? Do I get... Am I good? Yeah. Alright, good. Get a little story segment uh, how do you get your Pokemon right. It goes and right. uh, pops up, and then, then you're free. Right. Professor Turu. Turo. Oh, a Riolu. Nice. I don't want one for my team. Oh, right. it's showing like a big, uh, big hole. 
<laughs> director's office. Get your ass to the director's office. Ding dong. <laughs> Alright, I'm stood at ID number 805C393. <laughs> you wanted to see me, Mr. Clapple, sir? <laughs> Thank you for coming. I can never get over what this... this... this freaking game. So, since I put my name as Mr. Ben, uh, with the actual M-I-S-T-E-R. Um, it kind of did like that one playthrough of uh, Twilight Princess where it puts Master in front of the name, so it consistently calls me Master Mr. Ben. And I, yeah. can't, I can't help but find that funny as hell. I still <laughs> think the Mr. Mr. Ben was funny when you did that in Legend Zelda. <laughs> yeah. I just wasn't <laughs> expecting <Zelda>. that. <laughs> oh. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed early in the cafeteria. Let me assure you there's a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It's soundproofed! <laughs> it seems that their friend of mine has a rather serious matter they'd like to discuss with you. I don't see anyone here. Ah, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in the room with us. One moment, please. Allow me to connect us. Fix that. No freaking wonder this point was so wasn't effective on my fire type attacks. This is for this one. It's a good nature. Hey, it's Professor so Garachad. Good, uh, good ability, I mean. Hello, Mr. Benz. Nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Haldea, a site known as Area Zero. What is this, uh, Big Man Zero Four? <laughs> Professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy as well as a splendid researcher. Huh. Oh, I'm going to get so straight cool. to the point. Yep. Oh, <laughs> did you have a 805C393 as your student ID number, you said? I think, I, I think it's five, I think. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, because I think mine's the same. Number 805C393. Yeah, oh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> you are the student that travels with the unusual Pokemon Miraidon, is this correct? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Okay, I reached the uh, Pokemon Center. Yeah, J.E. Assistance with what? And Rhydon just lets himself out of the Pokeball. Just be, you know, just... Hmm. How good to see that you are well. It's been quite a while since we last met. You know what's nice, Ben? We're, me and you are actually at school learning stuff while G and DM are cutting class. Yeah. <laughs> it's Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Miraidon on my behalf? Huh. I do appreciate your agreement. He's a cute boy. Of course I'll take care of him. Huh. Miraidon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out your phone. How much more is there left of this? Because now it's telling me I have to go to the schoolyard. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Providing a tantalizing non smallers. <laughs> Later, he says. Huh. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? But yeah, you guys were not kidding of how of this being so long. Uh, Turo, don't tell me you actually did it. 